What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube play of the daytime. We're coming at you guys. Two props here for the NBA slate. Um, obviously, we'll have one spot in the NFL coming up here in about a half hour for past the prop. Um, so obviously, want to get this out beforehand. So all you guys popping over here can take a look at our NBA stuff as well. Um, shout out to, I want to give a shout out to the Texas Rangers. Uh, obviously, a team I did not expect to come through uh, after the, the Jacob DeGrom news. So shout out to all Rangers fans. Congratulations. That was awesome. Close the book on our season, right? It closes our book on a 54, 52, 4.75 units. A um, lot of good runs, a lot of different type of runs in there as well. So um, just happy uh, to go along with that and uh, split on our last show on college football. We wanted one. Um, shout out to USC for finally firing that dude. That dude was awful. I don't even want to say his name on here um, because I feel bad. Uh, just trashing him the entire uh, Saturday night, um, watching him give up 300 yards rushing to uh, Washington. So, um, shout out USC, doing their thing, finally uh, getting rid of that dude. Um, let's get to some NBA. Uh, got two spots today. Uh, I'm going to start with my uh, a combo spot here for you guys. I'm going to go Victor Wembanyama two blocks, Randall, eight rebounds. This is on DraftKings at the moment um, where you can kind of combo this. Minus 104, 260, 240 there. Um, so do really like this spot. Let's talk about it a little bit. So Women Yama is playing um, against the Pacers tonight. Um, he's hit this number in three straight games. Uh, and he's getting a little bit more run as well. 28 minutes plus in each of the last three. Prior to that, he only did that one other time um, in those first three games. Um, obviously getting a little bit better at, at learning, you know, the foul trouble game and stuff like that. Uh, I do want to look at the Pacers' last couple games here um, in terms of blocks allowed. Um, they've been giving up a ton of them, man. Uh, Nick Richards had two last game. Mark Williams had two last game. Evan Mobley had four in the game before. Jared Allen had two. So that's four centers slash power forwards in the last two games who have hit this against um, this Indiana side. Um, and obviously, like I said, women down has hit this in three straight games, uh, averaging three and a half blocks per game in his last two. Um, love the minutes, um, 34 and 38 minutes his last two games. Um, and I expect that again tonight um, to continue. Um, I, I think this game is going to be a little bit closer than people expect it. I, I see that we're seeing a seven and a half point spread, like, or eight and a half point spread. I don't think the Spurs lose by 10 here. I really don't. Even if Vassell sits, I think this seems good enough to stay within 10 to a team that literally – what, two weeks ago, got 50 balled by, by Boston. So I think this game stays a little bit more competitive. We've seen um, only two, uh, only one blowout really um, for them, and that was the Clippers game. They lost by 40 in that one. So I don't think the Pacers are putting a 40 ball on these boys. Uh, so sign me up for some Wemby. Give me 30-plus minutes. We're getting two blocks. Uh, Julius Randle just continues to, to grab rebounds. This dude is an absolute menace on the boards right now. Um, you look at him. He actually passed Mitchell Robinson for the number one rebounding chances on his team, 15.8. Um, he's been very, very good at crashing the boards. Uh, he's playing the Clippers tonight. Um, obviously, you got Zubac down there, probably matched up with Mitchell Robinson. Those two are just notorious followers. Um, and this game is going to be interesting. Obviously, you got James Harden there, first first game. I think this is going to be a fun game, but I also think Randall is just going to continue to to grab these boards. Um, <laughs> like I said, this dude has been an absolute beast for us. We literally just cashed him in our last NBA play, which was Simmons and Randall, the dude had nine and a half, right? So I, I like this spot. I'm not, I'd rather just grab this than the minus 145 on his eight and a half. Uh, just throw it in something else that I like um, and almost get plus money on it. I definitely like this spot. All right, play number two, guys. I'm going to Joel Embiid tonight. I know. I'm The only thing you can worry about is blowout risk. This is literally the best matchup you could possibly ask for. Um, <clears throat> and the blowout risk is definitely, uh, a concern, but we'll look at it here. 45 and a half minus 120 there. I believe I got it at minus 115 drafting or FanDuel has it there. I'm just on DraftKings right now with the other spot. Um, but really, really like Embiid tonight. I mean, how can you not? Daniel Gafford, I want him to play. I want Gafford to play. Um, I want Abia to play. I want this, I want this team full strength so we can just have Embiid absolutely cook these dudes um on the glass. Um, obviously, the dude has been an absolute wizard lately. Um Literally the full-on best player right now, I believe, right now in the league right now, um, or at least so far this season. The dude has been doing everything for these guys. 
17.3 rebound chances per game. Obviously, um, fantastic. I believe that was um, last year. He's at 20 this year, right? 17.3 up to 20 rebounding chances. That's a huge jump. Let's go to his passing, right? This year, he has taken a massive step forward in terms of passing. Um, he had He's averaging eight potential assists per game. Last year was 6.3, right? So that's huge, right? That's almost seven opportunities more for him to cash on those. Obviously, he's scoring. I mean, scoring is not an issue for Embiid. Obviously, um, last two games have kind of gotten a little bit out of hand. Um, that Phoenix game, yeah, he, they kind of blew him out. Didn't even play the last three minutes. 26 points in that one, 28 against Toronto. Uh, but I think it's going to be more like that Portland game where he went 35 and 15. 29 minutes, guys. Like that, that is an absolute performance on these guys. Um, I think Embiid absolutely dominates whoever guards him there. Um, this Wizards team is just terrible. Um, really, the only guy with another high usage rate on this team is Tyrese Maxey. He's shooting a lot of threes. He's shooting 40-something percent from there. But everything that is shot up there, that is missed. Joel Embiid should get the rebound. This dude is significantly better than anybody on this Wizards side. What, what is it, switching in? I think Mike Muscala is the backup. So Gaffer gets in foul trouble. You get, you get to worry about Mike Muscala. So I, I'm all over Joel Embiid today. Um, like I said, the um, the enhancements to those two stats make me just want to play the rebounds and assists as well. Uh, like I said, 1.7 more potential assists per game and almost three full potential rebounds or rebounding chances um, per game there. Sign me up for Embiid. Uh, come on, Wizards. I know you suck. I do. You guys are terrible. But just stay close for three quarters. Let Embiid get that little bit of fourth quarter run. Because uh, if he does, I think he's going to absolutely nuke this number. So Embiid over 45.5 points, rebounds, assists. Wemby, two blocks. Randall, eight rebounds, minus 104. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, hit our last one at that plus 130 spot. We're going to hit these two. I feel good. Uh, hit that like button on your way out, and hopefully I'll see you guys live for Pass the Prize.